hold and work out. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Mariah, if this is your first time visiting my channel. For the month of April, I decided to follow Amanda Cerny's workout routine. You know, we see Amanda, she's fit, she's strong, you know, she's great at working out. <laughs> and I was like, what does Amanda do? You know, what does she do? What does she do for her workouts? And then I saw her on her Instagram promoting this fitness plan. All right, I'm gonna make this real easy for you. I'm gonna send you reminders, encouraging messages, specialized workouts, using Cerny Fit Plan on the Fit Plan app. that she does. It's a fitness app and it's on her workout routine is on this app called Fit Plan. Not really sure what Fit Plan actually is. I just know it's a place, it's an app with a lot of other fitness people, fitness instructors other than Amanda Cerny that also share their workout plans. Amanda has her workout plan on here called Cerny Fit. She has set up her own hit style workout plan for people like us. To do <laughs> and it's a hit style workout I think I said that it's a hit style workout so you do like different circuits with a set number of reps and then a set number of sets it's 30 minutes four times a week is what she wants you to do to get fit it's like a 28 day plan and it's entirely body weight based so you don't need to have weights or any extra workout equipment it's all just your body weight yeah and so then they pretty much create a schedule for you a calendar schedule four days a week I don't think you necessarily have to follow the exact calendar schedule that they give you but they just they schedule it so that you have set rest days because it's only four days a week and so for the month of April I was like okay I want to try out this Cerny Fit plan and see what it's like you know see if I can see any results try out her workout see if I like them see if I think it's fun if I think it's cool if I want to keep up with it she has different workouts for different body types each week so there's like there's like a, a body a core an arm and a leg and they're like different exercises that fit each of those categories and you do them throughout the week I thought I'd bring you along on one of the workouts that I did you can see me struggling a little bit. You can see me huffing and puffing a little bit. You can definitely see me working out in my natural state. <laughs> yeah, and see like what this workout is like. So let's cut to that. The timer right there.
I'm done with the workout. Hold and workout. Kind of sweaty. But that's essentially kind of what the workout looks like. <laughs> From that workout fun right fun I made it through you know I made it through the workout and actually I made it through all of the workouts I had to make little modifications for some of them but I actually got through all the sets and reps for all of the circuits and stuff pretty proud of myself I did have to push through a few times but yeah I did some of these workouts throughout the course of the month and I was feeling optimistic I was feeling excited um but then I kind of sucked and I didn't really do it strong for the full 28 days. I got sick and then I also kind of lost my motivation and excitement for it because I'm somebody that needs a lot of variety for my workouts and so having to do the same kind of thing every week gets boring to me. I had an overall good experience with it. I did actually like a lot of these workouts and I could see myself doing this style of HIIT workout. I could see myself incorporating this throughout my workout routines. I don't know, I didn't dread doing the workouts at all. I actually thought they were, you know, fine. It is kind of nice knowing that they're just 30 minutes so that you can kind of like push through and just be like, yeah, this will be over with soon, <laughs> you know? But yeah, I'd have to say I just, I lost my excitement for it a little bit and I lost my motivation for it a little bit to keep on going. Um, and I, I realized that like I don't know I don't think these set workout plans are for me I think some people thrive off that stuff like I think some people love having it already set for them They just go on the app. They just put their tennis shoes on they do their workout then they're done And they just like having that sort of system, but for me I'm more of like oh is it nice outside today? I'm gonna go for a bike ride like that's more of like me um, So I think it depends on like what your fitness goals are and what you like to do for exercise The next question is would I recommend this app to other people or you know Who do I think this app is made for and I think this app is really good for people that one don't want to go to a gym so I think this is good for those people that just want to work out in the comfort of their own home and you don't need any equipment and so you really can just <laughs> I think this is good for people that want to maintain their weight or maybe lose a few pounds I think it's good for that so I don't know I I don't know I don't know if this app I'm not like a super professional fitness trainer obviously so you know do your own research but I don't know if this if doing 30 minute workouts four times a week is effective enough for like a lot of weight loss it depends on what your weight loss goals are depends on where you're at with it but I don't know if just doing this would be enough to like really lose a lot of weight I do think over time I think if you kept up with this routine for like three to six plus months I think you could see some real changes I don't know I feel like if you're really trying to lose a lot more weight like more than like 10 pounds I don't know if this is gonna like give you the fastest most effective efficient results but HIIT workouts are great though I think HIIT workouts are great for a lot of people yeah I don't know I guess I'm unsure about that side of it but I think this is good for people that more so want to maintain their current weight or they have maybe a few pounds to lose or they just want to like tone up a bit oh yeah and then third thing I think this is really good for people that are very busy I think this this is a great option for people that are traveling a lot for people that just have very busy schedule in my situation I you know I'm obviously at like a decent weight <laughs> you know but I definitely want to tone up more and I definitely want to like lose a bit more weight so I can be in more of my ideal range for my height and for my body type and so I feel like I needed more cardio um, because these hit moves there's not a ton of I mean there's a little bit of cardio but it's more of like doing squats there are some burpees there's lunges, there's, um, what else did we do? We did like tricep extensions. So a lot of great exercises that definitely can get your heart rate up, but I feel like from the research I've seen and from what I've heard people say is like, if you wanna lose more of like the fat and lose more of the weight, it's good to do more cardio stuff like running, jogging, biking, stuff like that. But I do believe that this sort of HIIT style workout can be great too for weight loss, you know? I don't know. I guess for me, I kinda wanted to just do more really like cardio based stuff where I was like burning a lot of, where I could burn a lot of calories. Um, but I feel like doing these HIIT workouts is kind of a good thing to also incorporate um, here because it's good to tone and it's good to like strengthen your muscles and all that stuff too. So yeah, I feel like I've been going on and on and on. <laughs> So now I'm going to tell you guys if I saw any results 
personally from me doing this workout, which of course every person is going to be different. It also depends on, it depends on your lifestyle. It depends on your, I guess just, yeah, it depends on your lifestyle. It depends on your diet. It depends on your sleep. Like there's a lot of factors that health encompasses, <laughs> but I'm just going to say if it was effective for me and I would say, yes, I feel like this app was effective for me. I guess I can say how much I weighed. It's not really that big of a deal. So I weighed like 198, which I'm 5'9". <laughs> you know, I'm a pretty tall woman, girl, whatever. Um, and now I've dropped, honestly, the scale I feel like can be a little bit weird too. And I, I don't know, I don't like to live so strictly by the scale because it can encompass so many factors. You know what I mean? Like if you, like, if you ate food that day, your bowel movement, stuff like that, I know that that all like, adds up and also muscle weighs more than fat too so sometimes the scale can be very misleading so I would not recommend people to be so married to the scale and what the number says on that because it's not always very accurate to how you actually feel and how your body actually looks but I guess just for this purpose of the video so I now I'm like 191 so I did drop like approximately seven pounds or so throughout this month I was actually pleasantly surprised because I didn't really think that I was gonna lose weight, to be honest. Like, I just thought that this this 30 days or 28 days, whatever, this month, I just didn't think there could be that much change because I don't think a one month is long enough to really see too many changes, you know, it's only one month. I think over the course of three months to six, three to six months, you would obviously see more changes and more of a dramatic change. And also I kind of sucked and I kind of didn't stick to doing all of the workouts this month. So that was my bad. <laughs> yeah, but I did go down seven pounds approximately, you know, could be give or take a little bit. I don't know. So yeah, I'm actually like pretty pleasantly surprised because I don't know, I feel Feel like my body kind of looks the same. I do think I'm a little bit slimmer. I think I've noticed myself looking a little bit slimmer, but I haven't noticed like it's nothing dr drastic. Like it's nothing like, whoa. <laughs> um, I feel like I still kind of look the same, but I'm going in the right direction and I'm making healthy progress because really my goal is just to obviously, I want to be healthy. I'm not doing this. I don't want to have an unhealthy mentality around this. So yeah, like I actually did lose weight this month. I would have to say overall I like this app, but to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna continue subscribing to the app and paying $15. I think it's $15 a month. I don't know if it's actually exactly 15 every month. It might be every two months or something. I'm not sure. But that's definitely cheaper than an actual gym membership, I guess depending on where you go. I already belong to a gym, and so I just wanna keep paying for that. And so I don't wanna have to pay for the app and for the gym. I feel like that's kind of, you know, why. <laughs> but if you guys want, a free workout app, I would recommend Tone It Up. I love the girls at Tone It Up, Karina and Katrina. I have been following their YouTube channel and their workouts for years now, and I'm a big fan of what they do. So yeah, if you guys don't know about Tone It Up, where have you been? They've been on YouTube forever, but they have their own app. They actually have on their app here, they have this thing called Daily Moves, and every single day, like every day, they have moves for you, and it's very similar setup to the um, Amanda Cerny app, where like, they have, they tell you how many sets and reps to do. So here, they're literally telling you and giving you a, a visual of like what this workout move looks like. So they say you do 15 reps of this goblet squat. So this is a good free version <laughs> that you guys can get so you don't even have to pay anything. You just download the app and it's all free. Yeah, and just to show you guys quickly what the Tone Amanda Cerny workout plan looks like. So they have like the day, and then they tell you this is Cerny Fit Core and then they list out all of the exercises that you're gonna be doing. And then what's, what is cool about the Fit Plan app, they have a little video instruction. Amanda shows you personally <laughs> how to do the exercise. And then they have a timer that counts down for you so you know how long to do the exercise for. So it keeps you on track, it keeps you on time, and then you don't have to track things yourself. So that is a pretty good feature. And then they also have scheduled rest breaks between each circuit too, which is pretty cool. So after you complete one circuit, they give you like a minute to rest, and then you go on to the next. So it is very timed. So that is one good feature about this app that the Tone It Up app doesn't have. The Tone It Up app, it is essentially the same thing. So yeah, <laughs> overall, I am really happy that I saw some results this month and that I'm going in the right direction towards getting that fit body that I want. <laughs> that is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Leave your comments and thoughts below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!
can definitely see me working out in my natural state. 